Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the monthly favourites of, what month are we leaving? March, the monthly favourites of March. March was a really amazing month because I turned 21. It was my birthday. Um, you'll know that if you watch my vlogs, um, but if you don't watch my vlogs, I turned 21 on the 7th of March. Um, and I've had a bunch of other stuff going on this month as well. Mainly university, dissertation, crazy stuff, but I've also had a few nights out as well. But I'm going to jump on here and tell you guys my favourites of the month, of the past couple of months. I don't know if I did a February favourites, I'm not sure. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my March favourites. So I'm just going to jump straight in and say the first favourite of mine, I am so late on this bandwagon, well I'm late talking about it in a proper video, um, the Nivea Post Shave Balm, it looks like this, I bought this, I did buy this a while ago because um, I vlogged it when I bought it, I think I maybe bought it at the end of January, beginning of February? Anyway, I bought it then and I have been using it as my primer after um, after Nikki Tutorials spoke about this and it went viral and everyone started using it, I obviously went out and got my hands on it. And I do really, really like it. I use it every day before I put my makeup on and um, the first few times I used it I realised I wasn't using it correctly. Um, I was just putting it straight on, literally just rubbing it around a couple of times and then moving straight on. I've realised now what you need to do is you need to rub it until it kind of gets really tacky and sticky and that's um, when it really helps keep your makeup on your face. So if you do buy this, um, make sure that you keep rubbing it in, keep rubbing it in until it starts to go really like sticky and tacky and that's how it works. But it does work really, really well. I do really like it. Um, it smells just like men's aftershave kind of like balmy thing um because that's what it is but i love that smell for some reason i really really like it so um yeah i've been loving this oh yeah i absolutely love this so the next thing i wanted to mention is my absolutely beloved double wear foundation i have not used this for a really really long time and then towards the beginning of the month I used them again because I tanned, so I used them again, and I had honestly forgotten just how good it makes your skin look. It really does make your skin look so airbrushed, so flawless, great coverage, I absolutely love it. I use it today and I actually did mix it with my um, face and body, so it gave me a bit more of like a dewy look, but using it on its own, it just gives you such a flawless look. My beauty blender. It's just such a dream combo and I didn't use it at all in January or February um, and rediscovered him at the beginning of the month and ah, yes, it, it's just phenomenal. Um, I'm in the shade 2C1 Pure Beige, that is my tanned skin colour, I don't know what my pale skin colour is because I've never used a pale one of these. Um, but I'm tanned at the moment, so that's why I can use him. New products that I want to mention, I got this when I went for the Rimmel Day, when I was um, went down to London, but I got this, we were given a bunch of goodies, which was really nice of them, and this is one of their new contour kits. This one is in the shade Golden Bronze 03. This is such a perfect contour kit. It's so pigmented, the blush, is basically NARS Orgasm, but a fraction of the price. This is $6.99 for the whole thing, and NARS Orgasm is what? £27 for just Orgasm. Um, the, honestly, it's exactly the same. So pigmented, ah, oh, buttery smooth. Um, yep, yeah, Orgasm there, and then, and then we have the contour shade, and then we have the highlight shade. And they're so pigmented, so, so pigmented. I absolutely love it. And it's really great for on the go. You can stick it in your bag and if you need a touch up throughout the day, you've got all three of your areas to touch up if you need. Um, also great for traveling. I've taken this when I've been for like weekends away and stuff recently. Um, 
so you don't need to take your contour. You do need to take your bronzer, um, but it just eliminates taking three different things and you can just take this one instead. Um, so again, this is in 003 Golden Bronze and also it's got rose gold packaging, so who doesn't love that? It's beautiful. Okay, four lip products that I have worn as a combo. This is a crazy over the top, probably massively unnecessary combo, but we're all here because we're makeup lovers, so if you want to put four things on your lips to make a combo, why not? That's what I say. So, I start, I've been doing this as one of my go-to lip combos, because um, this whole sort of, I'm wearing it right now, this is what I'm wearing, um, like stone, beigey, dusty type colour, is all the range at the moment, and has been for a while, but... Can I explain to you guys how I do it? So firstly, I use Whirl by MAC. Looks like this. And I completely outline my lips and then I do it on the outer bottom and outer there. So it's kind of like the ombre effect. After I've done Whirl, I go in with Honey Love again by MAC. Looks like this. I am obsessed with this as well. Absolutely love Honey Love on its own as well. But I take Honey Love and I put it right in the middle here like this, so that middle two quarters I would say, I get, use Honey Love, then over the top of that, this is where it gets a little bit unnecessary, over the top of that I use the Cream Puff from Collection, and this is in the shade 2 Power Puff, so this is the really really nude one, and I, I'll show you how I do this, I pop this right on the top here, so again, just adding to that ombre look, and then... Finally, I take a nude gloss, and the one I've been going to loads at the moment is Gerard Cosmetics Shimmer of Hope, and I take this and dot it right right on the top. So those are the lip products that I've been loving. I've been going into all of them kind of in varying degrees, but I've also been using them as a combo a lot which is why I wanted to mention it for you guys. Lashes. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is lashes. Demure lashes in the style Aubrey. My all-time favourite lashes of life. I talk about Demure all the time. Um, these are back in stock now. They are phenomenal. Again, I'm wearing them today, so this is what they look like. Um, I absolutely love them. They're so flattering. They look so good on so many different eye shapes. They just add that little bit of extra, you know? They give you that little bit of extra something something, but it's not crazy, crazy lashes that hold your lashes down. Another great thing about Demure is that their lash bands are really, really thin, very similar to the Eyelure lashes, which I love, that it's so easy to work with, and Ardell Wispies and Demi Wispies. It's so much easier for me to work with them. I am a contact lens wearer, so like House of Lashes lash bands are so thick, I really just can't work with them, or they're really painful and uncomfortable if I do wear them. So yeah, they're back in stock. I'm pretty sure the code Ellie gives you 15% off so why not go and get yourself some they're such good value anyway but favorite lashes of life just wanted to give them a shout out I just want to quickly mention nails I've mentioned these a while ago these are the Nailene um, collections I think these are their 200 pack you can buy them from boots and they basically are just the loose nails like this you glue them on yourself and then you paint over them and I've done that with my nails and I wear these so often I never ever go and get my nails done now the only time I will go and get my nails done is like if I get given a voucher by someone um, but these are in the short square style which is what I'm wearing today and the these are the oval ones and I wear these in my vlogs quite a lot I wore them when I went down to London um, for the Rimmel thing and uh, I had them painted red and they're a really really nice subtle oval um, oval shape and um, the reason why these are really good is because I think they're maybe £11 it's really really good value they last for ages the glue that it comes with the Nailene glue is by far the best nail glue that I've used um, I've used like the Boots own one and stuff but it's not quite as good it, it always lasts for a really really long time if I use the Nailene's um, so yeah uh, I did these on myself the other day all of 20 minutes to stick them on and paint them and I was 
good to go and they look like I've been to the salon so it's perfect. The last couple of things I want to quickly mention are some skincare things. The first is my Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. Again, I have talked about this before on my channel but not for quite a while I don't think. Um, I absolutely love using this when I take my makeup, to take my makeup off. Like I'll take my lashes off but then you just squirt sort of a pump and a half of this into your hands and then move it around. And kind of like with the Nivea is you have to keep moving around until it gets really, really sticky. And then you use the muslin cloth that it comes with, run it under boiling water, well not boiling water because you don't want to burn yourself, run it under really hot water, squeeze it out and then that's how it takes your makeup off. And every morning after I do that, my skin just feels phenomenal. It feels so good. Um, Liz Earl is such a great quality skincare brand I absolutely love it and I am more than willing to pay for cleanse and polish because it's not cheap but it's definitely one of the products that I will spend a lot of money on. I will finish off with the ultra repair cream this is the intense repair with fab antioxidants booster this is so surprisingly good when I bought this, I bought this really because it just came in the holiday set and I think it was this that I was after in it but it only came in a set. So I thought, oh, I'll just use this for like a body moisturiser or something, it's not going to be amazing. This is my new absolute favourite face moisturiser. I use this um, after I've done like my cleanse and polish or my just general face wash and then I'll cleanse with a cotton pad, cleanse and tone and then I'll use this and my skin always looks so good the morning after I use this. I think because it's so hydrating and I do have quite dry skin that this works really really well and there's just something in it. It, it says it's used to hydrate parched or itchy skin. It says for the face and body um, but it's so good. It just leaves my skin feeling so hydrated. That's actually all of my favourites, I think. I don't really think there's anything else to say. Uh, why am I struggling to get my words out? You can find all my social media links in the description. Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Come and follow me on all those sites. I love talking to you guys. So my camera just died as I was saying bye. That's it really. I guess I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye guys! Is in the shade. Shade? <clears throat> <laughs> what the hell? Why do I always